Good evening, I'm Jeff Glor, and this is our Western Edition. We are going to begin with today's arrest following a nerve-wracking, eye-opening week of pipe bombs delivered and discovered across the country. 56-year-old Caesar Sayok is in custody tonight facing federal charges that include illegal mailing of explosives and threatening a former president. He could get up to 48 years in prison. Sayok is accused of mailing homemade bombs to critics of President Trump and prominent Democrats, including former President Obama and former Secretary of State Clinton, among others. A fingerprint and a cell phone signal led to the suspect, who has openly and aggressively threatened Democrats online. Sayok has a long rap sheet and has been an outspoken supporter of President Trump. Manuel Bohorkas begins our coverage in Florida. Yeah, we just took him into custody. Grainy surveillance footage captured the moment federal agents set off a loud blast to take down Cesar Sayoc in Plantation, Florida, early this morning. Agents say a cell phone signal led them outside to this auto zone, where dozens of law enforcement agents surrounded him near his white van. Tom Fiore works across the street and saw the arrest go down. His demeanor, what you saw when he was arrested, was almost I knew they were coming. Yeah, he it almost had that he had the look of okay, well, you know what? I'm done. I surrender. I'm y'all got me. Officials drove the van with a tarp covering it to an FBI field office, but had to stop after the tarp blew off. Investigators say a trail of DNA evidence left on the packages steered them towards Sayoc, FBI director Christopher Ray. They uncovered a latent fingerprint from one of the envelopes containing an IED. We have confirmed this fingerprint is that of Cesar Sayoc. According to a newly filed complaint, investigators say packages sent to billionaire George Soros, President Barack Obama, former CIA Director John Brennan, and Congresswoman Maxine Waters included their photos with red X's through them. Though we're still analyzing the devices in our laboratory, these are not hoax devices. The arrest comes after law enforcement in Florida, New York, and California intercepted four additional packages today. Democratic New Jersey Senator Cory Booker, former Director of National Intelligence James Clapper, Democratic Senator Kamala Harris, and billionaire donor Tom Steyer became the latest targets. At the White House, President Trump praised the quick arrest. These terrorizing acts are despicable and have no place in our country. At least 13 mail bomb packages were sent. The first device was delivered on Monday to the home of billionaire George Soros. Investigators say all of the devices were similar. All of the intended targets have been vocal critics of the president. All right, so Manny, you're now at this AutoZone store where the arrest was made in Plantation. Any idea what he was doing in that parking lot? Well, Jeff, at this point, there is no indication that he was an employee of the AutoZone earlier. We did see FBI agents in there trying to get more information, but so far they've not revealed why they believe he was here in the first place. Manuel Bohorkas, thanks very much.